Well, a very good morning, and uh, it's so nice to have you with us in this edition of the Topical Discussion. As we take stock of uh, yesterday's events, it was quite an eventful day in the middle of the city as uh, uh, protests that later turned into riots rocked the city, and uh, they were characterized by a number of arrests, heavy deployment, a number of comments that uh, were flying on, on the floor of parliament yesterday, plus, of course, some of the issues that were being raised by lawyers. Now, the propagators of this strike, some of them are actually behind bars as we speak, while others are still on the run. But what remains unanswered as picketing becomes now the new norm of politics. I'm joined by Council Jude. Biamukama, he is a constitutional lawyer, together with uh, Honorable Francis Mujiche. And during the course of the show, we'll also be joined by uh, um, uh, Afande Bashil Sempala from uh, the Community Liaison Office of the Uganda Police Force. Council Biamukama, good to have you and a very good morning. Good, good morning, viewers. Uh, happy to be back. Uh, Honorable Mujiche, so pleased to see you after a while. Thank you. I'm happy to and be part. Congratulations on your recovery. Thank you. I'm happy to be part of this show today. And uh, to the viewers, I am back. For starters, what stood out yesterday in the protests, in your opinion? Uh, a number of things stood out. First of all, from the legal perspective, <clears throat> from the legal point of view, uh, we already knew uh, that uh, our constitution allows freedom of assembly. People are allowed to demonstrate peacefully and unarmed. Uh, there has been this whole gaslighting of protesters by police and the security agencies that, you know, people are being violent. They are going to destroy people's businesses. Uh, but what we saw yesterday were very peaceful protesters from the beginning to the end. Even when they were being confronted and arrested unfairly and illegally by the police, they were all surrendering. We didn't see a single stone being thrown by anyone. Uh, and therefore, I think yesterday, mm. the protesters put to rest this whole uh, propaganda that you cannot have a peaceful demonstration. Uh, I, I think that point was made. And we cannot have another situation in the future where the police or security agencies uh, should be allowed to gaslight peaceful protesters and start claiming certain rogue elements are, take, uh, are going to influence them to loot and destroy. How much of a challenge was yesterday's uh, demonstration mm. in the enforcement of the Public Order Management Act? No. Uh, there was absolutely nothing to enforce under the Public Order Management Act yesterday because uh, the protesters had notified... Uh, the Uganda police, uh, the police did acknowledge receipt of the notification and simply said uh, not to allow them to loot and destroy. We know nobody looted, no, no one destroyed, no one assaulted or harassed anyone on the side of the peaceful protesters. We all followed the protests. And uh, what the Public Order Management Act uh, used to provide, there was Section 8, which require, which used to give the Inspector General of Police uh, discretion to determine whether a, a demonstration can go ahead or not. Uh, that section was nullified by the Constitutional Court. And therefore, uh, the police absolutely have no powers to prohibit or stop a peaceful demonstration. They have powers to regulate. So the deployment we saw yesterday was supposed to have simply supervised, let these uh, young men and women carry their placards, uh, whether they are going to go to parliament, maybe, they, maybe if the numbers are too many, all of them may not be able to enter parliament, so there will be some regulation there. But what we saw yesterday was unacceptable. People peacefully moving with the placards, and then they are arrested, and then they are charged with being a common nuisance and being either and disorderly. This was a grave abuse, a grave abuse of police powers mm -hmm. and of the court systems. So you want to suggest that the arrests were mm. just out of order. And the arrests were not just out of order. They were illegal. They were unconstitutional and completely unreasonable. Well, Honorable Mwedjuche, didn't you find it rather awkward that uh, yesterday's 
protests were shining the spotlight on the ills of parliament, but you had the guts to sit as parliament. Well, I think that was the best time for us to sit as parliament and condemn what was happening out of parliament. Because just like council... What kind of parliament did you sit in? Just time? like council had, uh, has just um, alluded to, yesterday Kampara was at war. It was a war-like situation in and around Kampara. You had members all over. You had roadblocks in town. Parliament was actually sealed off. You had to jump through roadblocks to get to Parliament. And why was all this? Because some young people in this country are not happy with, with what is happening in the country. Because some young people are saying enough is enough to corruption. I am happy that many more Ugandans every day get the courage <coughs> to say enough is enough. And let me tell you, as long as the numbers continue building, even, this, even these forces will be defeated. And they were spotlighting an institution where you are a member. You, you see, I, I, that is okay. Parliament is one of the many institutions that they are talking about. Maybe yesterday they were talking about Parliament. At some stage, I think they need to be helped to, refoc to, to refocus at the fight against corruption. Not just a fight against Parliament, but the fight against corruption so that it is holistic. So that the children find reason, children in schools find reason to demonstrate. So that the business community find reason to, to, to be part of the protests. So that the lawyers find reason. So that the doctors find reason. So that the, 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 the policemen themselves find reason to demonstrate. Because I see hungry policemen on the, on the streets being directed to beat their children, even when they know that they are protecting thieves, these policemen you see at some stage will join the protesters. Because you cannot be deployed to beat people who are saying, even you, your money is being stolen. Money from police has been stolen. You have seen how the, the police circle has, is, 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 um, is, 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 is getting, is, is actually getting money by force from the police officers, the, the police circle. They have been writing to us, complaining. So I know that at some stage, the LODUs, the police officers, the, the, junior, um, uh, uh, the, the junior army officers will definitely join the struggle. Because for me, I am happy that the numbers in the struggle are increasing. Because let me tell you, I don't want Museven to run away from this. I don't want anybody who wants to shield him and say, it is only parliament that is corrupt. Because he has always enjoyed this situation where people say, Museven is good. It's only people around him. It's only parliament. No. I want the demonstrators to deal with parliament, but also now holistically deal with the cause of corruption. Yeah. And, and, and then it becomes easier for everybody to join. But as of now, I want to salute them for coming out openly, without fear or favor, with their placards, and like he has said, they have defeated the notion that they are, that they are violent. Now we know who is violent and who is peaceful. Well, we're joined by SSP Bashir Sempala. Good to have you and a very good morning. Um, what was remarkable yesterday was the huge deployment to quell what had been billed as a peaceful protest. What explains the high-handedness to something, to a peaceful protest that is provided for in the Constitution? Uh, thank you, the viewers out there, uh, Simon and the panelists today. Uh, I came a little bit late a few minutes ago because of some uh, issues I had on the way. However, I want to join the panelists to talk about what happened yesterday. Uh, generally, yesterday was a, a calm day. There were calm. few, it was calm. With the run-ins that we saw? Uh, those were isolated the incidents. The, 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 the mobilization was done on, on, on social media by people who were anonymous. They didn't want to come out openly. No, but there is a group of youth that you engaged. Uh, there is a group of youth, but they were not uh, proper identifying themselves who they are. And we told them to go back 
and come back and plan with us in an organized manner. Who did you meet in the first place? I will not disclose their identities, but we met some people mm. who are social media activists. Mm. Uh, they are not party leaders. They don't uh, lead any formal group. And uh, we engaged them. We, we, we try to give them a better way this can be done so that we can have a peaceful demonstration as provided by the Constitution. They say peaceful and an armed mm. group can protest. Non-violent. Non-violent. Yes. Mm. So when we met them, we agreed on some terms. And which, what were the terms, for starters? Which, which, which one... They were to first identify themselves formally because their mobilization was done on social media. There was no any clear grouping. Two, how many were they to be in number that police could offer them protection? To leave where, them? where is it stipulated that for someone to demonstrate you must have numbers, you must be clear uh, numbers? You know, precedence is very important. Council is aware of that. You remember the Mavira, the Mavira demonstration? Mm. It was cleared. What was the end result? Were the outcomes palatable for everybody? People's property were destroyed. People lost their lives. So we need to benchmark. You have seen what is happening on the neighborhood in Kenya. What's wrong with it? What is happening there? Is it interesting to the country? Is there uh, where people have lost their property, where people have lost their lives? Yesterday I was uh, trying to hear that the numbers have reached around 58 people who have died so far. Those are sons and daughters of people. So we need to do something in a way that we don't lose people. The mandate of the police is very clear. Protect people and their property. Okay. If you're talking mandate of police... Yesterday, the streets were littered or filled by the army, not police. D does this suggest that you were overwhelmed? Uh, there was no overwhelming as yet. There was no overwhelming. So what was the role of other agencies? But uh, other agencies support us. Maybe if I can... And it's constitutional, by the way. Even in Kenya, the army came. It was called on board. Kagwanjara. So we've been working with them. He, he has a question for you. I, 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 of course, I, I, I feel sorry for him. He's in a very bad place where he must speak, whether he believes it or not. But he knows that po the army does not just come on the streets. The army is in charge of protecting Ugandans against foreign aggressors. If you are not yet overwhelmed, at what stage did you invite the, po the army? Because the army must be involved at some stage, invited when you have been overwhelmed, where you say, we need assistance. Now, yesterday you say it was calm. Mm. So, why did you invite the army if you did? Should I respond? Yes. I am still asking. Mm. Why did you invite the army if you did to join you on a day that was still calm? Okay. I, I, let, I, let, I, let him I, respond. I, I, I met more than 100 members let, as I was going let, to parliament. Let, I remember let, let him that. explain to you. I would want to know at what stage you sat you started your operations, you were overwhelmed, and then you said the army must come in now. Okay. Uh, when a person, we don't take chances. When a person says he's inviting 45 million people, do you want first get overwhelmed before you can get supported? What does the law say about involving the army? The law is clear. When you look at Article 212, it talks about other agencies. D, other agencies have to be supported as security organs can support yes, police work. At what work. stage do you involve the other agencies? So at the stage of mobilization of 45 them, million you people. Them in investigation? At 45 million people, if someone says I'm inviting all the millions to come, then they have to be prepared. Uh, Council Jude, mm. th th there's always been every moment where the law clashes with security interests. What was at stake yesterday in the argument of security was to maintain peace in the city. No, but you see, when we talk about maintaining peace, uh, the police, as far as I'm concerned, 
were justified to deploy. Because people gave them a notice, we are going to hold a demonstration, we, we, we want to move to parliament. Mm. Uh, their duty was to make sure that these young people hold their demonstration peacefully. And uh, we saw them coming with their placards, and the next thing they are being arrested and being charged with being a common nuisance. So uh, deployment per se of the, of, the, of the police, because you see, uh, police does civic policing. And that is why when the army gets involved, we get concerned because the army is supposed to protect us as citizens from external aggressors. And, and when we start using the army to confront with citizens, then on what basis is it, a, is, does it can we still call it Uganda People's Defense Forces? Are they defending Ugandan people? Or they are defending other individuals? That's the problem you get. Mm. But strictly speaking, uh, they had an obligation. It's the duty of the police to regulate right. public order. Right. Okay? Uh, that's their job for which they are paid. And so when somebody gives notice and says, we want to hold a peaceful demonstration, uh, their duty is to make sure that indeed this is peaceful and these people are not armed and they are not attacking anyone. Well, uh, and that is exactly what, the, what happened. I, so all that, this, uh, this thing of arresting people, banding them on pickups, detaining them in cells, uh, driving some to Nagarama, uh, sorting some on the way, then, charging, then taking them to courts of law to charge them. It was all unnecessary. Well, I, I, I saw a, 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 a quote from the Uganda Human Rights Commission, mm. and it's talking about not all human rights are absolute or non-derogable. Mm. Some can be limited by the state in order to protect the rights of others, mm. as well as in public interest. Brackets, security, order, morality, and health. Yes, yes. And by the way, uh, first of all, even the Uganda Human Rights Commission, uh, after getting a lot of stick, they also came out and clarified. Uh, at Article 29, Clause 1D, provides for the freedom to assemble. Okay? Uh, Article 43 provides that certain rights uh, can, be, can be limited. However, the limitations must be demonstrably justifiable in a democratic society. And the Constitutional Court has already uh, provided us with a test. So there's, not, there's no need to reinvent the wheel. The Constitutional Court clarified that uh, the right to demonstrate under Article 29 1D mm. uh, can be limited in the sense that the Uganda Police Force and other agencies can regulate. They have a role and duty to regulate. So and what happened yesterday? Was it regulation? It was prohibition. Counting? No. It was not regulation. They, uh, pro they prohibited uh, and, made, uh, and they basically suppressed and prohibited a peaceful demonstration. Para. Yes, please. Were you regulating or prohibiting? Actually, it's good he has observed that police has a role to play. Unlike politicians like Muizuche. Uh, we have a role to regulate demonstrations that are peaceful in nature. However, all these demonstrations, we said planning. Who was behind this? This was an ambush. The organizers, the organizers had the courtesy to come to police headquarters actually, and engage you in a meeting. Actually, it is us who looked for them through intelligence. They did, did not you come drag us. them? Did you drag them uh, to No, there was to, a letter written meeting. by four. four. Four of them wrote to the IGP. Yeah. So through our social media intelligence, mm -hmm. we identified some few of them. There were around four of them. Mm -hmm. And they were summoned for an engagement with us. And they came. Mm -hmm. Police has a mandate, as you have said, to regulate these processions and assemblies. Some sections of the Public Order Management Act were, of course, annulled. However, not the whole act was annulled, but a few sections. So we still have a role. So where do you get the money to stop? Now, if we, 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 we anticipate violence, we can stop. OK. When does a protest no, become the, violent? I, I need some education. When does a protest become violent? When does it become violent? Mm. We have seen when the procession begins. I've told you, like, for example, <laughs> Mavira. Mavira, it started very well. Mm. Until being regulated until it turned violent. Why should we wait for violence? Who, who, who turned it violent? The participants. 
Because if the, these guys go around robbing people, throwing stones to police, throwing to, uh, to onlookers, then it has turned violent. And police proclaims to disperse them. So what the proclamation made yesterday? Yesterday we did not even, we, there was supposed to be no demonstration. So you prohibited, because, you prohibited the peaceful because, demonstration. Because there was no prior planning for it. What, what to is, have a peaceful What are the ingredients of planning for the benefit of our viewers? Planning, mm. as the, 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 the Section 9 and, and 10 of the Public Order Management Act, the, the, the organizers come and engage us. That we happened. We are the organizers. That happened. This is how we are going to move. That happened. This is the route. It happened where? When you met We the... didn't agree because they did not furnish us with the routes, with the numbers, and the parliament, the speaker yesterday, the Peter Speaker, said he was not notified of any visitors coming with a petition. So how do you go to visit someone whom we have, who is not expected Parliament is a you? public place, isn't it? It's a public place. Yes. But when these petitions are to be brought, mm. they notify because they have so many programs. The speaker said, the deputy speaker said he was not notified of any petition coming to them. Uh, Honorable Mujuche, uh, isn't this spelling a very awkward situation where police is now countering a new version of politics? Leaderless, people come out and say, we are doing this in peace. I think the police is stuck. They were used to the normal situation where Dr. Vesija declares that tomorrow I am coming to City Square and they put him under preventive arrest. And, doc, and, and Honorable Chagurani is put under preventive arrest. And they tell him, you will not leave your house. Now they don't know who to apply preventive arrest on. And so that is why you see the, 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 they are running around with, with members. They don't know who to tear gas. They don't know who is a demonstrator, who is a protester, and who is not. They are just stuck. But you see, let me tell you, Afande Sempara, this is, this is unstoppable. You are not going to keep people in their houses when they have no food. But in your analysis, do you realize, do you see there was any illegality or it bordered on something that would perhaps you, set the country you, on you, fire? You, you, you see, crime has to be committed. That's why I was telling them, at, I was asking them at some stage, when did you pro proclaim that this is illegal. Because you don't just, you also have, there's a process under which you stop a protest. You have to come and find people and, and, and ask them to go back and proclaim in the name of, of, of the country and say, go away. But just one individual is, is holding a placard and you see the force that is being used by them to even arrest the placard. You think they are in Congo chasing ADF. I think they must have brought people from Congo who have been running with the ADF. Because the force they were using just the rest placards. Okay. Uh, so, so before you get back do, to do you agree you were a bit overzealous in, in um, execution? A bit overzealous? Oh, they were very overzealous. Uh, just, just a second. We are not overzealous. But I want to thank Ugandans. Because when this mobilization started, we also... St uh, started counter mobilization from the department I, I come from, is community that, policy. Is that your role? To tell people to avoid committing crimes, mm -hmm. to avoid participating in a, an illegal processions. And people did not turn up. Do you know the impression you created? That you stand with the corrupt. That is not the case. Mm. We are against corruption. You were protecting the corrupt. We are against corruption, me, including if, if within our ranks. Mm. If I can give you information. Transparency International has told the world every year that the most corrupt institution in Uganda is Uganda police. And the second is the judiciary. Mm -hmm. So you have the most corrupt institution barring protesters and corruption protesters from making their point and, and, and protesting. So in short, the reason they are overzealous is because they are the most corrupt institution in the country. And so I am not surprised that they are fighting protesters. Okay. Because the protesters, I'm sure at some stage, it will not just be parliament. The, the argument was from security, mm -hmm. they don't want a replay of the deadly situation 
in, in the neighboring Kenya. You see, no, but you see, uh, but you see, Simon. First of all, uh, we all agreed, and the guidance from the constitutional court. Uh, even I think the organizers knew about it that the police have a role to play to mm. regulate. Mm. Uh, they did their deployment, uh, which is part of okay. They, uh, they ended up the army ended up taking over. I don't think that was actually a normal deployment because they, they were not facing people who were armed. But let's assume for argument's sake that they didn't know what to expect. Uh, they did their deployment, but people came, they were peaceful, they were carrying placards. So they were supposed to let them be and continue with their procession. And if they break the law, if they try to loot, if they try to uh, assault or harass anyone, then at that point, then they could arrest those who are doing so. But there are individuals we saw, for example, uh, being even detained uh, as they were writing their placards. So obviously, uh, this was completely wrong, and uh, it's against the law. And you know, uh, one, of the, one of the cautions that the Uganda Police Force and the security agencies have to appreciate is that it is their duty to keep law and order. Everyone, even a six-year-old studying social studies in primary, they teach, they teach the children that the duty of the police is to keep law and order. What did they do yesterday? Uh, and therefore, when, it, when instead it is the police breaking the law, uh, they are not giving an example. They are encouraging the public to, to perceive police as uh, an institution, I've, I've, which I've, is lawless. I've found the same parallel. Yes, please. When have you ever found a, a protest peaceful? We have had the incidents of peaceful protests. Yeah. You remember the Muslim community, the Uganda Muslim when, when Council? They, to mm. they demonstrated mm. against the, uh, homosexuality and in support of the law. You remember so you use the your intuition. You just use your intuition. You, you use there was your intuition to determine that this will Constitutional be Constitutional Square at Kororo. Mm. Yeah. Very peaceful. Even mm. yesterday, wasn't it? It was also very, it was peaceful. very peaceful. Yes. So, so we've had several yeah. incidents. So where we've had the yesterday, peaceful demonstrations. Was there any breaking that you were countering? Uh, yesterday, as I told you, uh, police among its mandates is to predict and to prevent crime. You may not need to allow crime to first take place before you act. So what kind of so if you, 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 you what kind of if what kind of crime did you predict? Public disorder. We have intelligence agencies in this country. Mm. But, That's why we Kawanja, we I, have I, a strong. I, I, I think he's misreading us. There's no misreading. There is no law that allows police to allow or disallow. It's not there. That, that, that you are out or this are out. It is not there. So let him not miss No, but that. the role of police you, you, is you, to, you, he, he to prevent. About, yes, he has talked about regulation. Prevention. Because you see, if you say... So Prevention. Are, yes, if you say so and so has a right, I also have a right. So the police is, the, is in the middle. No, so it, so mm -hmm. I, I enjoy my right as, as a protester, but yes. that somebody else will also enjoy their rights. Yeah. But he's saying that he's, stop, he's, 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 he's denying me my right. At the expense of Kangwanjara. That's not what the okay. that's not the part uh, of the Pala. Mm. Just a few weeks ago, to be precise, just a few days ago, you allowed protesters to walk into parliament with a petition against Honorable Sechikubo. Yes. You can ask him because I had the, the, no, no. the deputy speaker. That issue what, was what merited that clearance that you would actually you would also deny a group that is petitioning parliament on corruption, on a vice. Uh, I don't uh, think uh, they allowed any group to protest in parliament. There is a group that went to parliament with a petition. Th that group, they mm -hmm. came and uh, it's the parliamentary police, I think, <laughs> together with the, the, with the leadership of parliament that received them. No, that's not so, what, so the question would be in, in the same vein, why wouldn't you allow these peaceful protesters how many were to they? get to parliament so that so they are denied access? How many were there? We are coming from where? Now, and going uh, where? That's why I want to come in. Did those who came to protest against Sonia Vosech Kubo write to you? If they did not write to you, you never engaged them. How did you know their numbers? Why didn't you stop them? Now you're saying... The, 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 the can you respond? Yes. Let him respond. The, the other, the other no, no, no. no. Let two. him respond. Let he's, him he's respond about to parliamentary you. parliamentary police. Mm. Are you saying the parliamentary police is independent 
of the police you speak for? No, it's not, I don't, I'm not the spokesperson of police. I'm just from police, but not the yes, spokesperson. No, Community liars. liars. So, yes. uh, I want to clarify on this. There are so many demonstrations by different organizations that have taken place. I think we have seen, because they are always covered by the media, apart from those ones who went to parliament. Very peaceful ones. Uh, the only problem we have is hijacking of certain demonstrations with a good cause like corruption by politicians for their political ends. Yeah, but there were no politicians here in this there case. There were no politicians. Mm -hmm. These I have are told youth. you we have intelligence. These are disgruntled youth. Intelligence is always you. our guide. Mm. These people were just like, uh, how can I term it? Dummies. Behind them, there were other people. According to the intelligence. But you see, uh, and the no, moment no, no, you no, no. realize. You respect the Ugandans. No, no, no. Mm, no, no. Mm. I saw. The, no, 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 no. I will not allow this, really. We saw human rights lawyers. I organizing saw, this. No, no. We saw lawyers protesting yesterday. Mm. So I cannot allow a Sempara to come here and call them dummies. It's no, 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 no. You, 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 you are in police uniform. I'm saying the, the, oh, the social media you, you, you activists. Cannot stand, you, you cannot sit here and call protesters. Please allow him to make his no, submission. It's, it's yes. Unfortunate. Mm. That means I may not be. Maybe I, I look. I, I have to look for a better then word. You get it mm. first and then but speak. Uh, these were not the actual people behind the demonstration. So the who, social media who, who so were who were the instigators? These were political activists. <laughs> politicians. Who, who in particular? I cannot de disclose. Then if you don't know, keep quiet. I cannot disclose. Mm. So, you can't if you on TV. security mm. realizes that the organizers mm. are being used to achieve political objectives, if it is politics, you come out properly because he no. is allowed to organize. So, so, so this but, was, but, but, but this was a joke. political protest. No, by the way, Are political matter. protests bad? That's what I'm saying. If it's political po uh, po protest, Come out proper. Cancel you. Cancel you. Provide you. Cancel you. You, you may come I, in here. You see, you see, you see Simon. Mm. Uh, uh, the motives of protesters are, are none of the business of police. Uh, their business, uh, their business is, are uh, these people who are protesting? Are they, uh, are they armed? Are they peaceful? If they are not armed and they are peaceful, uh, you see, the cause which the demonstrators bring out there is not necessarily their business. They are free to, demonstrators are free to ask the president to resign. They are free to ask the speaker to resign. Uh, and it doesn't matter whether some demonstrators are being influenced by politicians. Their job is to look at the behavior of the protesters. That is all that Ma Maybe is, we need to be it, educated it, it, exactly. by Afande Sempala. He has, Afande Sempala. He has brought it very well. Afande, mm. what is a peaceful protest? A peaceful protest must be devoid of violence. You are not armed. You don't have any dangerous weapon. Mm -hmm. You are not uh, assaulting anybody you find on the way who is not part of your uh -huh. demonstration. Mm -hmm. But we've seen demonstrations where people who are not part of the demonstration are being attacked. Have a you placards, seen it? A placard treated as armed. But have you seen that one? Where people no, no, no. no. A placard treated as armed. Some of you could have been victims. You find your vehicle has been smashed. In a protest, you are not part of it. For you, you are just driving along the road and you ram into them. Okay. So now, did yesterday's he, picketing, he about did yesterday's motive. protest meet the bare minimums of a peaceful protest? First and foremost, why did we have to protest at that particular moment? Hey, hey. we said, but let us have a no. plan. No, but let us have a you plan. Can't, you can't determine if when we met these for, guys. For demonstrators, when, when we, we met these guys, mm. which route were they coming from? How many were they? Was Parliament expecting them? You knew Those where were they the were going. Those questions put to them. They were not. Answering. You knew where they were going. We knew where they were going, mm. but Parliament said we, we don't expect anybody. So the speaker. So how do you invite yourself to a place where you are not invited? So you protected Parliament yesterday. That's why Parliament was all protected. Uh, uh, but so you stood with you stood with a group that is perceived as corrupt. We didn't stand. We don't want corruption. But, uh, Simon... We don't stand with corruption. S we, but we wanted an organized... Actually, even if from today, they go back and say we are going to come like this, answering the questions we put to them, tomorrow they will protest.
Well, I uh, will still delve into the unanswered questions in the wake of yesterday's protests. Uh, what remains unanswered and uh, how better or what does the future hold as now a new twist comes into the national politics? Uh, a leaderless struggle is on. What next? Good morning.